What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video today. So my name is Justin Menendez. If you've never seen one of my videos before, typically I'm out on the water doing all sorts of inshore fishing, redfish, trout, snook, tarpon, black drum, sheep's head, mangroves, all sorts of things. Um, but today we're going to be in my room and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my favorite leader knot, which is the Alberto knot. I'll be showing you guys that today. It's a really awesome knot. Very easy, quick, strong. Uh, I've been using it for several, several years now. And I, bet, I think when I was first learning to tie uh, like leader knots, it was very difficult to find knots, good tutorials, stuff like that. So I'm going to make one today. Hopefully I'll do a good job of that and you guys will learn a thing or two. The Alberto, it is a very easy knot. I think that's the best thing about it is it's easy and quick to tie. I can tie it in the dark. I can probably tie it in 20 seconds. Like it's just very easy. And I hope you guys pick it up quite quickly if you guys are trying to learn uh, leader knots. Now you can use it for a lot of different uh, applications. I use it from heavy tackle where I'm throwing 30 pound braid to 80 pound uh, leader, whether that being fluorocarbon or mono. I even use it when I'm throwing like 20 pound braid to 30 pound uh, mono or 20, even 20 pound mono. I use it for several different things. Um, and you guys can use, you guys can do the same thing inshore, offshore. You can use it pretty much everywhere. So I'm going to give you guys that tutorial starting now. Uh, let's just, let's hop into it. Let's go. All right. So jumping into the tutorial here, I'm actually going to kind of do this from my perspective. I think it'll be a lot easier to see it done. Um, especially if you're new to, you know, doing this knot in particular, or maybe just new to fishing in general. Uh, it'll help you just figure out, figure it out a bit better. So in my left hand, we got 60 pound fluorocarbon. In my right hand, we have 30 pounds spider wire, ultra cast and visibraid. It's my favorite braid. I've been using it for about six or seven years now. Um, but so far, what we're going to do is we're going to put this braid down for just a second and we're start with our leader here. I'm just going to make a loop in it. I'm going to over exaggerate a few different things uh, for this knot tying process to make it easier for you guys to see. Um, but we're just going to make a loop just like that. So just show you guys I'm not doing anything too crazy just making a loop make a loop and pinch it with your with your left hand there pinch it and then put a crease in it just like this so push that line down just like that now we got a crease in it so it's just a bit tighter of a loop I'm gonna switch to the way I'm holding it and hold it just like that I grab my braid in my right hand Oh, trying to grab oh my gosh I can't grab it all right <laughs> grab our braid just like that we're gonna put it right through that loop just like that put it through that loop and then pinch it so you're gonna pinch it just like that and pull out I don't know eight inches of our braid here just like this pull that guy out so now you're at this process this step right here and uh, all you're gonna do is wrap that braid around this line about six to eight times I'm gonna do six for this tutorial but one two, three, four, five, and six. So now you're here, it should just look just like that. Very nice and neat. As you guys will do this more, it'll get easier and easier to where you can tie it in you know, 20 seconds or so. But now we're gonna switch hands and we're gonna pinch this tag end here. We're gonna pinch everything, our mono and our braid with our left hand. So now it should look just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand and just keep wrapping it, but we're going to go the back the same direction we started about six times, kind of cross thread uh, that braid there until we get up to the front. We're going to do this one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do just one more, do seven. Okay, so now we're here. Now, the final step, you're pretty much done at this point. This is why I say this not so easy is you just go down and back. Now we're going to take our tag end of our braid and put it right back through that loop where we started. And now you're done with the knot. All we have to do is pull it tight, which I would say is the most difficult part of this knot is just getting it to pull tight and grabbing. So I'm going to grab just like this, both ends, kind of grab it, get in my hands and pull it tight, just like that. Might take a good amount of pressure here. Pull it. There we go. That's nice and tight the way I want it. That looks pretty good the way it is. Now, I know realistically this is not tight enough. It could potentially slip for this tutorial purposes. I'm probably not gonna cinch it down all the way, but get it down to about right there. I don't wanna. That looks about good right there. 
that's about that's about it. You're pretty much done from there. All we have to do is tie or cut our tag ends. So we got a tag end of braid, which is here, and a tag end of fluorocarbon, which is there. So we're gonna grab our scissors, cut around here, just a tip, because I've been tying this knot for so long. It can cinch down a little bit tighter and kind of suck in that braid into the knot. So what I'm gonna do is just leave maybe about a quarter of an inch of braid there and cut it. It doesn't need to be cut flush, kind of just for safety. Trust me, a fish is not gonna see that little tiny tag in there. It is very small. And then when you come to your side with fluorocarbon, we're gonna cut that tag end. And this you can cut pretty much flush as possible. Let's see if I can get right in there. All right. And now, hopefully that was a pretty simple and easy to see tutorial. I know that's the most difficult things about tutorials, kinda, it's kinda getting, getting a feel for what they're actually doing. Hopefully you guys could see that all okay but that is it that is the alberto knot simple and easy now like i said i can probably tie that in 20 seconds just practice over and over and over again you should be able to get it down into that that type of timing um but that just takes practice so that is the alberto knot and that is it um one tip for you guys i am someone who does a lot of sight fishing so this knot i usually don't like to leave a lot of leader a lot of leader because I don't really like casting this knot through the guides because if you guys can see here that little braid tick right there you can cut that pretty close to flush but ultimately it is still going to bump those guides on its way out it's just not super perfect it is pretty flush it's just not perfect and like I said for sight fishing I don't really want that knot to bump any of my guides so usually to uh, you know make up for that I'll just fish with a little bit shorter leader probably about two to three feet of leader so I can make those accurate casts without having to worry about that not bumping the guides but if you really need to you can cast through those guides just fine just just a tip um, but uh, yeah that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video today I hope this knot was something simple and easy for you guys to use please click that like button if you enjoyed the tutorial and leave a comment letting me know if you guys tried this knot and if it worked for you guys and also why don't you guys just let me know what your favorite leader knot is as well. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on that next. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in that next video.